హలో వెల్కమ్ టు కేవీ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆన్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ బై ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ ద థాట్స్ అండ్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ యూ వుడ్ బి ఏబుల్ టు కమ్యూనికేట్ ఎఫెక్టివ్లీ త్రూ దిస్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ వీ ఆఫర్ అన్ ఎక్సైటింగ్ అండ్ ఇన్నోవేటివ్ వే అండ్ అప్రోచ్ టు డెవలప్ యువర్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ స్కిల్స్ లెట్ సీ మోర్ అబౌట్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఎవ్రీ పర్సన్ యూ స్పీక్ విత్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇండివిజువల్ సో often people tend to treat everyone in the same way the best way to communicate effectively is to adapt your communication style let us go through the styles of communication they are direct communication analyzing communication collaborating communication and influencing communication direct communication direct communication is focused on taking action and getting the results This type of communication is very direct, specific and precise. Direct communicators normally have a clear thought process and a very clear opinions. They have absolute terms and these are people who tend to see things in black and white. People who have this type of communication are go-getters and they at most of the times avoid delays. To be an effective communicator, you should be specific be able to give complete information be able to speak confidently and be able to focus on the task now analytic communication analytic communication is focused on analysis and accuracy this type of communication style centers on classifying and correcting information analytic communicators have a great vision over quality and they identify problems and they seek resolution of the particular problem they tend to be unhappy they sometimes tend to be more picky type to be effective with analytic communicators you should be able to provide complete details be able to respect their ideas and be able to appreciate their ability to identify problems now collaborating communication collaborative communication looks forward for agreement and consensus collaborating communicators most of the times tend to avoid arguments the most important factor of this type of communication is they tend to achieve goals and they express willingness to do everything they can to achieve their goals to be more effective with collaborative communicators you should be cautious to allow them to express their opinions be cautious on providing opinions and be able to avoid making statements such as either or as such influencing communication this type of communication normally starts with knowing each other before coming to actual business conversation influencing type of communication is liked by others this type of style consists of social talking influencing communicators tend to speak about social aspect to increase the rapport they tend to be more diplomatic and have great emphasis on the facts to be more effective with influencing communicators you should be able to allow some time for social communication before business conversation you should also be able to set clear deadlines and check in on their progress regularly you should also be able to appreciate their ability to motivate and inspire others now let us see the stages of communication there are five stages of communication they are sender message medium recipient and feedback sender as the creator and sender of the message it is very important for you to focus on the way you communicate the following are the important aspects which you need to concentrate while sending a message your attitude and your approach towards that particular person and situation your immediate surroundings your culture your emotions language skills your education and your job status these are the important factors which you convey to the other person when you are sending a message let's know something more about message the message consists of both oral and written messages the message is the idea and view which you would like to communicate 
the following are the important factors you need to focus on while communicating a message what needs to be included how the ideas and views are interpreted how the message would affect your relation so whenever you send a message keep in mind all these three aspects and how the other person would react to these questions medium medium of communication can be determined by the urgency of the message the medium is the method which you choose for your message let us see some of the medium of communication face to face conversation phone call an email a text message a letter or social media now let's know about recipient recipient the recipient is a person or a group who receives the message the recipient will be affected by same factors as the sender such as attitudes surroundings culture emotion etc this is the person who reacts to your message and who would receive your message feedback to know whether the communication process is completed or not you need to get feedback such as in oral communication or face to face communication in face to face communication there would be a nod smile yes or no responses however in email and telephone communication you can hear voice and email you can get a reply let's see some of the effects of not communicating well they are misunderstanding loss of business threat to a relationship loss of faith and trust wrong or no action taken threat for a conflict loss of valuable time to avoid all these you need to follow some of the tips for effective communication you should never overlook the power of speech and sight personal interaction always develops better relationships so always try to most of the times communicate in person always try to consistently learn new things and develop your communication skills by getting feedback accept feedback whenever someone says something to you and work accordingly on that particular feedback never blame others for your own communication weaknesses you are the person who would be responsible for your weaknesses so you need to work on your weaknesses and improve your communication always try to concentrate and focus on the stages of communication and how effectively you would be able to communicate and the message you are forwarding how the sender receives it and reacts to it now let's go through email etiquette let's see what you would be learning from this particular chapter meaning and use of the email types of emails how to communicate effectively through an email and email etiquette email etiquette when compared to face to face communication email is very easy to interpret as there is no concept of facial expression or voice every one of us would have at least once or more than once have had the experience of misunderstanding an email that is the reason it is important to learn some email writing skills before you start sending emails there are three important factors of email etiquette they are understanding structuring and proofreading understanding this is understanding your audience before trying to understand your audience you need to ascertain certain factors such as who you are writing for why are you writing what is the recipient expecting from you or someone else how will your message influence the reader who you are writing for always try to figure out who you are writing for this will help you to place the exact information you are trying to communicate in the message why are you writing try to ask yourself why are you writing that particular email this helps you to be concise and also helps you to provide correct information about the message and also helps you to keep the message related only to the reader and the subject what is the recipient expecting from you or someone else before sending any email you always try to think carefully about the information the recipient is expecting from you you need to avoid 
any unnecessary information in the message never try to make things more complicated than they actually are because if you are careful enough then definitely the message you are forwarding would clearly convey the information which you wanted to send always think how will your message influence the reader the information which you provide should be accurate never send false information or inappropriate information to the reader the information should always be in the recipient's best interest always make sure the message which you send when the reader reads it he should feel interested and he should get more information about it and he should feel enthusiastic about the message and the information which you send try to avoid some words like i believe i think i would i will try such as because this means the message which you actually send would definitely create ambiguity doubts and unnecessary thoughts in the reader's mind structuring your message there are four important concepts in structuring your message they are subject line opening content and closing subject line subject line reflects the message content it should be specific and catchy opening line a good opening line would definitely create an interest in the reader's mind content whenever you are sending an email do not send in paragraphs and loads of bulk information through an email always try to be specific and th the content which you are forwarding through the email you always try to put it in bullet points so it would be very easy to understand it should be in a mode of summarizing model wherein the reader easily understands the information which you have forwarded closing closing with a summary always leaves a great impression whenever you send an email always try to summarize in the last paragraph and clearly mention your opinion and what you are expecting from the reader now the most important aspect of sending an email would be proofreading your message to ensure a professional language and to make sure your email is error free you need to make a habit of proofreading your emails let us see some of the important proofreading guidelines which is language meaning spelling punctuation and casing language always try to be clear and concise on your business language meaning make sure that the meaning of the message is correct and accurate spelling always spell check for grammatical errors using spell checker punctuation whenever you send emails check for punctuation marks like question marks periods commas and appropriate punctuation accordingly casing an appropriate casing like sentence casing initial caps and lower case you should be able to determine how you should use them appropriately always make a habit of reading your emails before sending and also keep in mind you need to add recipient list at the end of all the above procedures only this avoids a situation where you sometimes tend to click send button before following the guidelines like proofreading or the language and the meaning read aloud you be in the reader's place and read the message and try to understand whether there are any errors or whether you are getting the correct information accordingly or not now let's go through telephone etiquette from this chapter you'd be able to know the use of telephone types of telephone conversations how to communicate through telephone and telephone etiquette why someone would communicate through a telephone because its speed it is fast and it is reliable and it is a mode of personal communication and also you would be able to get an instant feedback on the message in the field of communication telephone is undoubtedly the most important tool to make timely decisions which make a very big difference telephone communication is the best way of communication to choose speed instead of writing a letter or drafting an email the telephone is a much quicker tool it needs just to dial a number personal communication telephone creates an opportunity to hear other person's voice straight away 
though you might not be able to see the person you can hear the voice and use your imagination to build the rapport you can always receive an instant feedback over the telephone you can discuss the topics in detail and make the decisions accordingly let's see how to become a thoughtful communicator always try to pick the call with full attention to build up your relationships always speak friendly and in a bit of an informal tone it creates rapport very quickly sometimes some people over the phone need time to think so kindly be patient and hear and try to listen what others are saying always try to keep consistent focus on the call and not on something else some people while on the call tend to write something on the notes they sometimes might be texting over the phone or they might be working on the computer this certainly doesn't help you to communicate effectively now let us see how some of the weak expressions that can be made very strong by saying them in a different manner instead of saying hello say good morning this is dr venus office gopal speaking how can i help you this would be a better way of communicating instead of saying i'll call you back soon you can say i'll call you back within the next 30 minutes whenever you say i'll call you back soon that creates an ambiguity there is a point of question whether you might be calling in in 30 minutes or one hour or the next day so always specify the time when you would be calling him back instead of saying you have got the wrong department i'm sorry you have got the wrong department it would be always better to say i'm sorry you have been put through to sales or some purchasing department you need to get through some other department i'll try to help you out and i'll transfer the call now instead of saying what do you want me to do about it you can say how can i help you always try to use the name always make sure you mention the name of other person instead of saying no problem you can say you're welcome my pleasure instead of saying that's impossible ideally it would be better to say i'll do my best to help you with this instead of saying who is this you can always ask may i have your name please or who's calling please that would be better instead of saying i don't know you can always say i'm not sure but i'll try to find out for you instead of saying the only thing i can do is you can always say the best thing i can do is instead of saying sorry to keep you waiting always try to thank the person who has been on the call so you can say thank you for holding let's see what is pride a professional image over the telephone helps you to build relationships pretty quickly even it might be with your colleagues customers or your clients or anyone else pride pride is pitch rate inflection diction and energy now let's see pitch to gain control over a telephone conversation you need to balance your pitch of voice avoid shouting and always try to project your voice in a professional and pleasant manner rate speech rate over the telephone plays a very important role speaking slowly makes the conversation successful inflection inflection is the balance in tone with fall and rise in your voice according to the other person diction try to avoid mumbling and slurring speech when you are in your calls always try to pronounce clearly energy to make a very good and a positive impression on each and every call you need to be energetic during the call try to be as energetic as you were at the beginning of the conversation and continue the same through the end of the conversation let's see some of the important things which you need to remember when you are on a call plan to speak more confidently make sure you have all the relevant information with you make a note of the things which you are supposed to discuss this helps you to make the call successful identify try to identify and introduce yourself clearly and the reason you called always try to identify yourselves by saying my name is venu i'm calling from so and so organization the reason why i call you for is and you should start the conversation convenient time make sure you ask the recipient whether it's a convenient time to speak or not or you can simply say 
Is this the right time to speak to you, sir? Or do you want me to call you back? That would be great. Listen. Always try to listen carefully and make a note of the important points throughout the discussion. Try to avoid multitasking when you are in a call. Never try to tap your laptop or computer or you try to avoid texting over your mobile or even playing with your computer. However, some calls do require wherein you need to search information over your computer or the internet. That's a different story altogether. However, always try to avoid multitasking when you are on a call. Imagine. Always try to visualize the person by imagining. This will increase the effectiveness of the conversation. Paraphrasing. At the end of the call, always try to paraphrase and summarize the conversation using phrases like, it is my understanding that, that we have come to a conclusion, so and so. Greet and close. Always thank the recipient for his or her time. Make sure you greet them by saying, have a great evening, have a good night, have a great weekend and things like that. And one of the most important thing I would like to reiterate over here is people like to hear their names. It enhances the feeling of friendliness. Instead of saying, sir, if you could probably say, thank you, Mr. Venu. Thank you for your time. It was a very great discussion, Mr. Venu. Always try to use the name of the person whenever appropriate during a telephone call. Let's go through some of the important tips to improve your telephone etiquette. Always. Try to be enthusiastic while you are on your calls. Whenever you are calling, try to be enthusiastic and energetic. Adjust your pitch and your tone to make the conversation interesting. Try to be as friendly as possible and as natural as possible over the phone. Don't try to, you know, sometimes people tend to mirror the other person image or the other person voice. So it would be inappropriate to do that particular thing in certain period of times not always in certain conversations it would not be effective always try to make an impression through every call you make and every call you receive try to focus throughout the conversation audit yourself on a regular basis and improvise your skills by getting feedback and getting relevant information and working on the feedbacks let us know something more about assertive communication through this chapter, you would be able to know meaning and use of assertive communication, how to communicate assertively, benefits of assertive communication, how to improve your communication through assertiveness. Assertiveness is the ability to express your emotions and needs without violating the rights of others and without being aggressive. To be an assertive communicator, you need to work on three important factors. They are honest and straightforward respect others feelings body language and tone honest and straightforward to be honest it needs a lot of determination the following are the factors a person should need to concentrate while communicating honestly emotions know your emotions and express them honestly statements try to express opinions with statements such as I. Using statements with I, they take ownership and they express ownership of your conversation. Accuracy. Do not depend on judgments. Depend on accurate analysis. Do your homework accordingly and speak accurately. Language. Always use a direct language. In the sense, use a direct speech. Avoid things such as, I believe that particular information. Always try to say, I appreciate the other's feelings and I appreciate the statement given by so and so person however I feel that if in that particular situation this would have done in a much better way this definitely will not hurt others however you would be able to express your opinions straight away respect others feelings to respect others feelings you need to follow three important factors which are opening feelings and being natural opening Always start your conversation with a positive point by saying things such as I appreciate that particular message and I really appreciate that this person has done so and so. That was good. That was really good. And then you need to start your conversation. Always try to express your feelings by saying things such as if I were you, I would also felt the same. And things such as always 
shows your assertiveness wherein the other person feels comforted being neutral always try to be neutral when expressing your opinion do not hurt others body language and tone let's see some of the important aspects one needs to focus to maintain assertive body language and tone maintain eye contact and match them with the message whenever you are trying to communicate with a group of people always try to show a lighthouse effect wherein you will be looking into each and every one's face and expressing your opinion this creates interest in the reader's mind or this creates interest in the group standing upright or sitting in a comfortable position always try to stand in an upright position when you are standing in front of a group of people leaning towards side and uh, bending or nodding your head sideways this doesn't convey the message appropriately try to use hand gestures as and when appropriate but try to maintain gentle gestures don't move your hands too fast wherein the group or the people or the audience you are trying to speak with might get distracted always try to speak clearly and maintain a neutral voice and keep constant speech rate and also keep smiling throughout the conversation or throughout your presentation let's see the benefits of demonstrating assertive behavior by demonstrating assertive behavior you would be able to experience a great number of benefits you would be able to feel good about the encounter you feel respected you'll definitely know the interaction haven't wasted your time you'll try to understand what's being said and your audience also will understand what you have said because when you are around an assertive person that person never pushes you around and gives you enough space and time to make your own decisions and to know your own decisions as well thus by implementing the thoughts and techniques in this presentation you'd be able to communicate effectively and you'd be a successful effective communicator so as you have learned many things about communication assertive communication effective communication email etiquette and telephone etiquette you practice them these cannot be built in one day and by consistent learning and getting feedback from others you i assure you you'd be a very good communicator so wish you a good luck on this hello welcome to kvis complete home english learning program this course is designed to improve the way you communicate we will go into great detail on spoken english effective communication and most importantly interview skills we will help you with basics to avoid common pitfalls and help you to be successful let's go through kvis program on interview skills by implementing the thoughts and techniques in this presentation you are going to increase your success rate in interviews tremendously although you might or might not be familiar with the techniques mentioned in this program now these techniques and ideas are not particularly difficult i call this would definitely give you enough insights on how to deal with an interview through this part of program we offer an exciting and innovative way and approach to develop your interview skills we make you to step ahead to demonstrate how to prepare your interview answers which includes exercises which are very easy to understand and implement and they will help you to improve your interview skills no matter even if you are a fresher an experienced person or a professional this program will definitely refine and help you to build your confidence and helps you to give effective answers in an interview after this unit you'd be able to build trust and rapport with the interviewers respond to toughest interview questions and able to mention all your achievements no matter how technically brilliant you are if you do not gain trust and establish rapport with the interviewer the chances for you to get that particular job are pretty less however the skills and techniques you develop 
from reading and practicing according to the instructions in this program would definitely not only win the job for you but also enable you to get a rewarding career let us begin with an introduction on types of interviews types of interviews there are five types of interviews which are interviews with recruiting agencies interviews with headhunters and employers interviews with personnel hr and managers assessment centers and psychometric tests let us go through them briefly interviews with recruiting agencies there are many reasons why a recruiting agency is recruiting you you might have approached them they have advertised the job and you might have responded to the advertisement it might be through job portals or the company which you have applied for recruits through that particular recruiting agency the next slide would be on interviews with headhunters and employers interviews with headhunters a headhunter is a person who approaches you to speak with you about a potential job opportunity that you have not applied for the headhunter only deals with senior roles and well paid jobs and those are the jobs which require specific skill sets interviews with employers these interviews are conducted at the company or employer's office you may have applied online on the company's website an advertisement in the newspaper or magazine personal hr and manager rounds personal hr interviews are a bit hard to predict these rounds specifically focus on salary and benefits the reason for leaving the company which you are working for the reason for applying your motivation your long term career goals interviews at the assessment centers the term assessment center is not about a place it is used to describe a selection process it is a process which involves interviews and a range of other assessment activities the assessment centers were developed by the war office during the second world war they were used to select the candidates to become officers for the armed forces they want to assess candidates in a range of scenarios that simulated real time situations let's see what happens at an assessment center in an assessment center typically you will be joining a group of other candidates for a series of tests these are designed to show your potential to the prospect employer including your personal and technical skill requirement for the job the typical qualities skills and attitudes that are evaluated at an assessment center are your analytical ability your calmness your awareness your decision making your flexibility your interpersonal skills your leadership skills logical thinking and motivation planning your presentation skills confidence and your teamwork psychometric test a psychometric test is a test which evaluates a person's capacity and ability to act and react to a particular situation this also evaluates the person's experience to order the thought behavior the psychometric tests are also called occupational tests psychological tests and personality tests they reveal your ability attitude intelligence performance your problem solving skills and your verbal and numerical reasoning skills our next topic would be nervousness and its solutions nervousness nervousness is natural before an interview however you can always help yourselves so that your nervousness doesn't affect the outcome of the interview If you overcome nervousness you will confidently give a very good performance at the interview There are two solutions for nervousness psychological and physical Let us go through them briefly 
साइकोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशंस अगेन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशंस दे आर रिलैक्सेशन एंड बींग रियलिस्टिक रिलैक्सेशन टेलिंग योर सेल्फ टू रिलैक्स इज लॉट मोर ईजियर ऑलवेज ट्राई टू फोकस एंड रिलैक्स बाई टेकिंग डीप ब्रेथ हैव ए शावर बिफोर यू स्टार्ट ऑफ टू द इंटरव्यू वेन्यू स्टॉप ऑन यू वे टू हैव ए कप ऑफ टी और कॉफी इट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी रिलैक्स एंड शो योर बेटर साइड ऑलवेज बी योर सेल्फ एंड रिलैक्स द सेकेंड साइकोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशन इज बींग रियलिस्टिक बी रियलिस्टिक दैट एज यू हैव कम दस फार फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर इंटरव्यू यू आर द प्रोस्पेक्ट कैंडिडेट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर जॉब पैट योर सेल्फ दैट यू हैव बीन थ्रू दस फार थ्रू मेनी नंबर ऑफ इंटरव्यूज एंड इंटरव्यू राउंड ऑलवेज बिलीव इन योर सेल्व एंड इवन इफ द आउटकम ऑफ द इंटरव्यू माइड नॉट बी इन फेवर ऑफ यू ट्राई टू टेक good things from the interview which you have faced always remember to take notes on what you have learnt from that interview dear students choose our gama demo e demo video meeku nachinatlaite ma complete dvd pack kai call cheyalsina number 9346 7801300 प्रति अर्थम सुलभम भाषा अति तक कल अनर्गल इंग्लीक वीडियो टीचिंग अंदर इंस्टिट्यूट इंग्ली